All right, what's going on, voiceover world? This is Dane Reed, the voiceover guy. And I actually want to talk about auditioning because I know it's the job of a voiceover talent to audition, but I don't like doing that part of the job. I'm Dane Reed, the voiceover guy. Check me out. All right, so even though I don't like auditioning, I do audition probably not as much as the average voiceover guy or a gal, but I do it, right? Because I want to land some of these big jobs, et cetera, et cetera. But most of my work, 95% of my work comes from marketing or personal relationships. Actually, mostly personal relationships, people who know me, or maybe they see my blog or my videos or whatever, whatever. And they're like, you know, they feel like they know me. Anyway, um, so I landed this job and I was in the studio uh, a couple of days ago doing Publix. Publix has been coming up for years and years and years. Uh, my agent here in Atlanta, Jeffrey Umberger, sends me Publix all the time. And so I audition for Publix. I get some, I don't get some, I get put on hold, whatever, whatever. It's a great job. Um, and so, okay, so I auditioned for it. I'm not stressing over auditions. I get auditions for different kinds of things, everything from radio imaging to uh, commercials to people just wanting to hear how I'm going to sound on things. But I don't love auditioning. I, I just really don't. I love doing the job. I'm the kind of flexible voiceover talent who, you know, if you give me instructions, or if you give me some guidance, then I can execute whatever it is. And so sitting around auditioning all day is just kind of not my thing. I just don't like it, but I do it. So anyway, so I've developed a process of doing voiceover auditions for the past few years. Um, and it's like a seven step process. It involves me doing a dry read out loud. I make sure to do everything out loud. I record everything as I'm going. I do a second read to kind of, you know, go over the first read. I do subsequent reads to kind of get comfortable with the script. Third, fourth read, I'm kind of comfortable. I'm a little bit memorizing it, but all throughout this process, I'm recording all of this. So when I get to the fifth read, I should have remembered a good deal amount of what is going on here. And at this point, I start looking at the copy differently. And so it's like, oh, wow. And that's what I call my aha moment. For me, my aha moment is when I stop looking at the copy in such a rigid manner and start thinking of the copy in a personable manner. So um, it makes me say, wow, I could read it this way. Instead of saying, I went out with the dog. I might say, I went out with the dog, right? And those two things are very different. And so I read those things differently around my fifth read. Around the sixth read, um, I really start feeling like the whole copy is mine. I went out with the dog. And me and the dog were just hanging out. And like, by now, I'm telling a story, a story of Dane Reed. It's no longer a product, a narration, or anything like that. And I read it out loud. By the seventh read, it's all mine. Like, I own this, right? And I perfect the sixth read. The sixth read is kind of like um, my dry read with personality. And the seventh read is the one where I'm just like, this is me. This is all me. Anyway, so I landed the Publix gig. I go into the studio. And it's interesting because even throughout my process and the way that I read it and everything like that, I go into the studio and they want it actually very different. That's a whole nother story that any voiceover talent can tell you because they'll tell you that we want it happier. We want it sadder. We want it. So that's just the way things go. And so I just wanted to share this with you guys. So anyway, I'm going to play for you the audition that won the job. You know, it's an audition. If anybody wants to call me directly, 
uh, for a job, they can log on to my website at www.daneredmedia.com and I'll respond to you there and we'll talk about your budget and I'll send you a quote and we'll go from there. All right. I'm Dane Reed, the voiceover guy and keep trying. I'm gone. <laughs>